All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for social studies, we are going to be looking at different types of natural resources that we find in our world. So the book that we are going to be looking at today is called Our Natural Resources. So we need natural resources to survive. So today we're going to learn about the importance of conserving Earth's natural resources. So what are natural resources? Natural resources are all around us. Natural resources are things found in nature, such as trees and oil. We use natural resources to make other things. We use oil to make fuel for cars and airplanes. A fuel is a source of power. Many houses are made of wood. Wood comes from trees that grow in forests. Some houses are made of bricks. People use sand, clay, and water to make bricks. These are all examples of natural resources. Wind and sun are natural resources too. We can use them to make power. We can turn the wind and sun's energy into electricity. We use electricity to heat and light our homes. We need some natural resources to live. Without air, we are not able to breathe. Air is a natural resource because it comes from nature. People also use natural resources to make things that make their lives easier. Think about some of the things on your desk. There may be paper and pens. Paper is made from trees. Even plastic things such as pens are made from natural resources. Most plastic things are made from oil. We do not need paper and pens to live, but they do help make our lives easier. Sometimes people waste natural resources. This means that they do not use them carefully. If we keep doing this, we will not have these resources in the future. Essential resources. There are some natural resources that we cannot live without. These are essential resources. We need these things to survive. They include things such as water, land, and trees. So first we're gonna talk about water. Water is one of our most important natural resources. We could not live without it. We need water to drink. It is a basic need for all human beings, but we can only drink fresh water that comes from rivers and waterfall. Ocean water is too salty for us to drink. The plants that give us food also need water. Long ago, farmers learned that they could use rivers to water their crops. They dug trenches in the ground. These are narrow paths in the ground. The trenches brought water from a river or stream to their fields. This is called irrigation. All right, next up we're gonna talk about land. We need land for agriculture or farming. Farmers need plenty of land to grow crops, but they cannot grow crops on all kinds of land. They need land that has healthy soil or dirt. Land is a natural resource that helps provide us with food. Farmers grow corn, wheat, and many other crops. These crops help feed people all around the world. Farmers also raise animals such as cows, chickens, and pigs. These animals provide us with milk, eggs, and meat. Farmers need land to raise the animals on. Think of the things we eat for breakfast. Without chickens and cows, we would not have eggs or milk. Without wheat, we would not have toast or many breakfast cereals. Land gives us the food we need to live. All right, and next up we're gonna talk about trees. Trees are another natural resource that we could not live without. The leaves on trees give us oxygen. We need oxygen to breathe. Trees also give us food. Some trees make fruit or nuts that we can eat. Trees are also used to make lumber. Lumber is made when trees are cut into boards. People use these boards to make houses, schools, and other buildings. Lumber is also used to make furniture, such as tables and chairs. 
People can also use trees for firewood to keep warm. It may seem like there are trees everywhere, but our, for but our forests are disappearing fast. This is one reason that people should plant a new tree if they cut one down. This helps keep enough trees on earth. Hidden treasures. On earth, there are treasures hidden deep in the ground. People dig under the ground to find these important resources. Oil. Our lives would be very different without oil. It is a natural resource that we use for many things. Oil is a black liquid that comes from underground. Plants and animals that died, and again, we're going to change the word millions of years ago into thousands of years ago, turned into oil over time. People have to drill deep down to get the oil. Sometimes they even drill underground in the middle of the ocean. Oil is used to make roads and highways. It is also used to make plastic things such as water bottles and toys. Oil is a fuel too. Oil is used to make gasoline for cars. Coal. Like oil, coal is a fuel made underground over thousands of years. Long ago, dead plants on the ground were covered with dirt, rocks, and water. All of these things pressed down on the dead plants. Thousands of years ago, the dead plants eventually dried up and turned into coal. Coal is black and looks like rock. Coal will burn for a long time. In the 1800s, people used coal for many things. It heated water that made steam engines work. Trains use steam engines to move across the tracks. People use coal stoves to heat their food and homes. Today, coal is mainly used to make electricity. Like steam engine trains, coal heats water to make steam. This steam is used to run the machines that make electricity. Natural gas. Natural gas is another kind of fuel. Like oil and coal, it is found deep under the ground. It is formed over many years from dead plants and animals that were buried under the sea. Some of these dead plants and animals turned into oil and others turned into gas. The gas is trapped in pockets of rock deep in the earth. Natural gas has many uses. It can be burned as a source of power. Some homes are lit by gas. Stoves and ovens often use gas too. Clothes washers and dryers can also run on gas. Some homes use gas to run the heater. Gas can be used to keep your home cool too. It gives power to air conditioners. Gold and silver. People dig in the ground looking for precious metals. Precious means that it is worth a lot of money. We say that a metal is precious when there is very little of it in the world. Gold and silver are precious metals. People have used these metals as money for a very long time. They are also used to make jewelry. Jewelry made of gold and silver can cost a lot of money. This is because these metals are hard to find. That makes them worth more money. Many computers use these metals too. This is because gold and silver are good conductors. This means that they move electricity well. Every day, people look for more of these precious metals. Renewable or non-renewable. Some of our natural resources are renewable. This means that they can be replaced. Trees are renewable. People can plant new trees to grow. Water is renewable too. Rain replaces the water that we use. But some of our natural resources are non-renewable. This means that once they are gone, they are gone forever. If we use too much of these resources, they can become scarce. This means that there is very little of that resource left in the world. Oil, coal, and natural gas are non-renewable. They will not return until more is made from plants and animals. But this will take thousands of years. Precious metals can be used up too. We need to use these resources carefully or else they will be gone. 
Today, many people are trying to save Earth's natural resources. They do not want them to run out. One way to do this is to use renewable forms of energy. By doing this, we will not waste so many of Earth's resources. Renewable resources such as water, wind, and the sun can be used to make power. Have you ever seen a dam? Water passes through it. Then, the water's energy is turned into electricity. Water or Wind is a source of energy, too. Have you seen a turbine? Wind spins the blades. This motion is turned into electricity. Solar panels turn sunlight into electricity. These are all renewable forms of energy. People can use this energy to heat homes and light rooms. Saving our resources. We all need to do our part to conserve our natural resources. This means that we need to help save them and use them carefully. You can help conserve our natural resources. Think about the things in your home. What natural resources does your family use? Most homes use water. You can turn off the water when you are not using it. Most homes use electricity too. You can turn off the lights when people are not in the room. You can walk to places instead of driving. You can also try growing your own food. Our planet gives us so many of the resources that allow us to live. We must all make changes to help save our resources. Conserve it. Think about ways that you can conserve natural resources in your community. Think about what resource you want to conserve. Talk with your friends and family about things you can do to help. Then write your plan and spread the word. All right, and that is our book today on natural resources.